Welcome to the Phillips Game Room. I'm Andrew Phillips. Today we're going to be doing something fun. I picked up on Facebook Marketplace this older soccer, I guess, a vending machine. Basically what it is, it's filled with rubber balls normally. You put 75 cents in, you try to shoot the ball into the goal, you win the ball. One of those type of vending machines. Picked it up on Facebook Marketplace for only 20 bucks. It needs a lot of work, doesn't work, major restoration needed. But that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Luckily, the seller had everything that this thing normally comes with. However, the, the glass that goes over the play field was broken and gone. So I need to get that remade. We'll probably just do it out of polycarbonate. But it does take legs. This thing normally sits about five and a half feet high. It's almost the size of an arcade game. But he did have the legs, didn't have the hardware to attach the legs. So we need to replace the, the bolts that bolt that on. We need to redo this glass. I'll get a close up here. This thing's in bad shape. It was stored outside, unfortunately, even though we had a tarp over it, but moisture got to it. It did warp in a lot of spaces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Gorilla Glue and hopefully get it kind of put back together as best as we can. Have to touch up the paint in a couple areas. The main glass up here is in good shape. But let's get a close up and I'll show you. It also has a power plug. It has some old LED lighting. We're gonna test that, see if that works, see if anything needs to be fixed with that. But right now, let me get a close-up. We'll go around it so you can see what we're dealing with. On the play field, you can see the warping. Right here, it's obviously filthy. needs to be cleaned. Normally, on the glass, you would have some kind of an image that would cover all this. We're going to try to remake all of that. This is the LED strip right here. You can see right here, part of it broke off. I may be able to solder it back together on the copper leads and get it working again. There's another strip there. Definitely old school stuff. You have the, the coin mechanism here, which seems fine. But if we get closer here, you can see all warped. And as a result, normally you move this and you'll pull it back. The spring is in bad shape. Either needs to be replaced or set the tension on it better. But that does not move because I think what happened is where it swivels, it warped up around it. So we need to look at that. If we come here on the outside clear that up you can see the warping here now the legs bolt right on that corner so i may be able to pull it together with that and here's where the ball return is you can see there's a ball in there that's warped we're going to try to push that back together repaint all of this as mentioned already i am going to replace with a piece of polycarbonate we come up here and let's open it up this lid opens and we can look inside see a couple balls still in there not too bad on the inside because it was all closed it definitely has to be cleaned and you follow the wires right here here's another LED strip up here across the top so we'll plug it in test that do whatever we need to to fix it now let's take a look here on the side you can see right there some bad warping right there so we need to fix that these are the legs that he had so that's good we have all of that just need to be cleaned but if we come along here onto the back it's it's got a, a lock on there so we need to cut that off so we can check inside Unfortunately, with some of these type of games, you can get rodents in there, so we need to make sure there's no rodent or rodent activity. And from there, we should be able to get inside of the mechanism itself. But if we come here on this side, the cool thing is, is all of the, the decals are actually fine. Just needs to be cleaned, have some warping here on this corner. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, maybe try to put a C-clamp on there, see if we can't push that down, put some, uh, some Gorilla Glue in there. But, let's see it here, and then if we, you can see down along the bottom some warping there as well, because I think this was actually stored on the ground, which wasn't good, so it, it got wet. I'm going to cut the lock on the back, and then we'll be back to open it up and take a look inside. Hack that off with a cutoff tool can't use bolt cutters this thing's too thick 
Let's open it up, see what's in here. All right, it doesn't look, and let me turn the light on. All right, it doesn't look like any rodent activity, which is good. Here's our power right here. Okay, coin box, some coins in there. This looks like some water damage, really. But we should be able to get to everything. There's a micro switch there, I guess, for when the ball comes down. So it looks like a date or something up there. But the inside doesn't look bad. this stuff out. It's a ball down there in the corner. Some kind of a digital display there. I don't know what that's for. Couldn't really find much on this game anywhere. mechanism here's your coin shoot and it looks like this was made in 2002 so it's 20 years old but I'm actually impressed on the inside I was expecting it to be damaged in here so let's go ahead and uh, turn it on turn it on see if it powers up and then start the restoration process on this thing After looking inside and seeing that the electric all looked good, nothing damaged, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Nice. LEDs are lighting up nice. I'm going to get the camera and show you this side here. Everything on that side looks good as well. I just need to add that broken off piece. And the LEDs inside look good as well. I'll show you. Well, that's actually pretty cool. All that's working. I just need to solder that one point that's broken. I think that'll be good. But the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to get a vacuum, my shop vac. Let's clean all the junk off of this thing, clear all the debris off, and then we can start the process of fi uh, fixing the warped parts of the wood. I'm going to get this piece made as well, and we'll slide that in, and then we'll start laying out the graphics on it, get the legs put on it as well, and then clean it up, touch up some of the paint on it, and then we need to loosen up this piece here and get that working again. And then we'll give it a shot. After vacuuming everything down real good, I took a clean damp cloth and wiped down the, the cabinet. And surprisingly, a lot of the staining was just due to just dirt and just outside junk in the air, I guess, with moisture and stuff that got on it. And it cleaned up pretty good. Uh, so I wiped down the cabinet. 
here on the sides real good. You can see there those kind of the stains there on the side coming off real good just with wiping it off with that damp warm cloth. Went over the graphics real good, clean those. I'm gonna come back anyway and touch it up with some satin black paint, any of the areas after it dries that still surfaces back with some flaws on it. But um, just wiping it down real good, and cleaning it off. And let's see here, working around here, coming up on the edging, all that. Cleaned it up real good. Everything has been vacuumed out, wiped down really good. I have some goof off setting right there where that adhesive is so we can wipe that off. But you can see the playing field looks a lot better already. Cleaned up in here, cleaned along the sides, actually cleaned up really good. Now the front, I was probably going to repaint it, but it cleaned up pretty good. I think I'm just going to paint around where the knob is where it wore out. We'll get that cleaned up. But let's wipe off this adhesive residue here and then we'll take the glass out clean the inside of it because I only did the outside <laughs> probably have to give another coat it is coming off with a little bit of some elbow grease there we go now it's starting to come off there get all that off I want to have this cabinet Looking as good as we can get it. I want to limit what I need to do to it as far as refinishing it because I want to keep it original. There we go, it's coming off. I'm going to work on this a little bit more and then we'll be back. All the adhesive has been removed. You can see here the glass has been polished and cleaned very nice. Play field is looking good. The next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to go around to the back and show you a major issue with some damaged warping. All this was clear and cleaned. Now when I put this piece in, look down here. Look at that. That wood is badly warped. However, the legs are going to go around the corner. So I'm going to put the legs on and we'll be back. And let's see if that doesn't pull it together. Trying to get the legs on here. You can see how much that has swollen the wood with being warped. That should be flush here. So as a result, if I try to put the leg on and I'll get a, a, a shot from the top, it's not even lining up. There's the hole, that's as far as it will go because of being warped. So I need to find a way to compress that. You can see how it's all bubbled out. We'll go ahead and spray it with some water, get the water down in there real good because the Gorilla Glue that we're gonna use is water activated. And you can see all the moisture nice and in there. So we'll take this Gorilla Glue and I'm going to go ahead and apply it. We're going to make sure that we get it all deep into those cracks and gaps. And then we'll take this bar clamp, tighten it up really good, and hold it nice and solid while that Gorilla Glue dries. And that should hopefully pull that wood at least somewhat together so we can get that leg on there. Just finished letting the Gorilla Glue properly dry. You can see it, how it bubbles out. But that was good enough because I was able to take this bar clamp and pull it enough and as you can see here we were able to get that corner leg on it's nice and bolted in properly but we're still holding it in place as that glue is properly drying but you can see the warping there on the back legs are all on everything is tight it was a little bit of a challenge because of the warping but we used that bar clamp holding everything in place we also used some of the um, Gorilla Glue to get everything nice and tight. As far as all of the underneath and the legs go, we're good with that. And I'm also going to be taking a look at getting the, the little shooting spring 
moving. It's warped under there. I'm going to use a little rubber mallet and just kind of tap it, see if we can break it loose. I got to be careful though, because if the wood is seized around it, we don't want the wood to break since you have the graphic on here. So I'm going to get the camera here and show as we loosen that up. This is all locked. Let's see if I can't. See it is moving. It is pretty jammed on there. I can see what happened now. The wood is bubbled up, and I'll I'll show a close up. That's the problem. And right there, you can see it cutting into it. And if we come here. You can see right there how it's a little bit lower. But um, either way, this needs to be able to move. I need to somehow get that wood down. So I'm going to take a look at it, and then we'll be back. It looks like I'm going to have to grind that down. So I'm going to remove this, this black plate so we can have access to everything on there. And now we, well, I should clean in here as well, but now we have access to this. Let's see, it turns a little bit now that I've loosened it a little bit, but I need to clear a path for it. Removing this as well while we're at it. So we can pull this out and adjust this. This thing's all out of whack. The spring needs more tension to it. You got a spring here that's completely out of whack. I'm going to clean this and then we're going to take a look at seeing what we can do here. Clean this as well and then we'll be back to put it all back together. I took a router bit and shaved this down. Now just smoothing it out. And show you what I did here. We had this washer that was in the wrong spot. So I adjusted that, greased these springs, that spring. You can see now it shoots really good the way it should. So everything's been greased up, springs on both sides work. So that assembly is good. Once we get this cleaned out, then we can put it all back together and test it. Sanding just around the shooting piece didn't work, so I wound up having to peel back the vinyl and take an actual DA sander and sand all the warping down nice and smooth, as you can see right there. And then what I'm going to do is take this 3M spray adhesive. We'll spray it on the wood itself and on the back of the graphic let it tack up real good and then we can apply it and get everything glued back down and put it all together but at least then the playing field as we can see here from the side is nice and flat so now we'll go ahead and just work the graphic down with this applicator get it nice and smooth we don't want any bubbling or anything because that can hinder the balls from rolling properly so work that down get it all nice and tight along the edges real good and then Take some black satin paint and paint all in there nice and good where we sand it down and get it all blended nice, looking all nice and new, covering up all the damage. Go ahead and put 75 cents in. We'll angle that. And here's the ball. And that's the point of this game. Basically, you pay 75 cents for the little rubber ball because everyone's guaranteed to win because you keep shooting till you get it. And then once you get it into goal, it comes down the shoot. So everything here is working good. I'm going to solder up this LED piece that was broken off, see if we can get that to work. Once that's done, then I went ahead and had the glass made out of polycarbonate. I'm going to go ahead and fit that in. 
but I do want to crimp this in here. We do have some warping. I'll get a close up. I'm going to try to tighten that up real good first, and then we'll proceed to putting the glass in, and then we'll add the graphics and stuff to it, and that should wrap this up. Normally, this would have a graphic on it, so I purchased some green construction paper that's going to slide right in here, just like that. That way, it conceals that edge. And when we put the polycarbonate lens in, that'll press that down. And I also drew the grass to kind of match what's there so it looks similar. Next, I'm going to put a soccer ball here in the middle that I need to draw, concealing where this thing rotates. And then we'll do some writing on here. But before I do that, I'm going to repaint this front piece here, the black, since it's worn out. I was going to spray it, but I don't want to get rid of this decal here. I'm going to use just a satin black which will match that really well. And we're gonna work our way around, around that decal. So. Make this look all nice and new again. I'm gonna let this dry. I had to pull the, the control stick off because I wanted to be able to get all the paint in there. Didn't want to hit that. So as this dries, I'm going to go ahead and solder up the LED piece that was broken, and then we'll be back to take a look and see how everything looks. All the paint is drying here in the front, so I put the knob back in, and you can see it's looking good. I also drew this soccer ball that I put there, so that way that hides the actual component as you move it. So you'll, all you'll see is the ball moving around in there so you can shoot it. Still need to put the text on here. This was soldered together. However, I got some of the lights to come on now off that broken piece. These three here will come on. I ran out of solder to loop through, so I need to do that at a later time, but at least that's all been reconnected. So all the lights are working. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the polycarbonate like glass that goes over here. I'm gonna just Touch it up a little bit. It's a little bit too big when it was cut, so I need to trim it down and then put the black edging because the black's going to cover the lights as it does up here on the top. Like the, you have the lights in there, but they're concealed, so you just have the glow coming down. So this is going to be the same thing. So I'm going to add that, and then we'll add the writing on here, and then we'll be back to take a look at it. After testing it a few times with balls, it was getting stuck in the goal. Only some of them were actually making their way down to the return. So let's head around inside and I'll show you what I did. I removed the inner part of the goal where you have the chute that goes down that tunnel. And what I found is that the goal was opening up around here and it had two little bumpers that are supposed to lead the ball down that chute. However, it wasn't doing that. The balls were getting stuck against that edge. I got some pieces of cardboard and I'm gluing them inside the goal down underneath. So when the ball hits, it's going to get into this little chute right here, which will then lead it directly into that tunnel. That way it won't be locking up and the balls will return properly. Everything is done. The graphics are completed. I'll get a close up for you. Putting the polycarbonate glass in right now. Had a little bit of a blunder sliding it in. It got a scratch on it. Nothing major. I'll have to just buff that out at a later time. But wrapping it up now, and then we're going to try it out. Let's see how everything is. Everything is completed. I have the LEDs on. Everything looks great, except for those couple few. Um, LED bulbs that I mentioned, I need to rewire. I didn't have enough solder to finish that. Everything here is good, painted, glass redone, everything clean. I put about 260 balls in it. Normally, these things can take thousands because it fills all the way up. But I'm going to just get a close-up going around it so you can see what I've done. And then we're going to put some money in it and try it out.
Works great. So that wraps up this video on restoring this old soccer vending machine, bouncy ball, whatever you want to call it. But restoring one of these, as we saw, we picked it up for $20 on um, Facebook Marketplace. The thing had been left outside. It was warped, did not work. It was all messed up, missing the glass, the graphics, everything. We've got it all restored, cleaned up, the graphics in, touched up the paint. Working great, so it's ready to be used. So I hope that this video was informative for you if you're working on any machines. If you have any arcade games, claw machines, casino games, ticket redemption machines, any of that stuff, I've fixed all of those on this channel. So please check out the links down in the description. That'll link you to any of the other videos I've done pertaining to commercial vending machines or casino games. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.